Hey guys, today we're gonna take this beautiful cedar of Lebanon and we're gonna turn it into this. So stick around. Hey everybody, it's Chris at Cookwoods. Today we're going to be cutting cedar of Lebanon. It's a really cool wood. It's referenced in the Bible over 70 times and King Solomon used it to build the pillars of the temple. I just disconnected the hydraulics off the bobcat and it's got a really cool feature called a bobtatch that I just push a button and it moves these levers that lock in the attachment. You just push a button to lock it or unlock it. Nice feature. hydraulics. Okay, I haven't used this attachment before. It's the first time. So, see how easy they made it or how hard they made it. That one goes here. Okay, that one's on. All right, there it is. Never hooked it up before and hopefully it's right. equipment will come in real handy when we get some ice and snow. I'm just gonna drive up, lift it up a little bit. I like to check the blade anytime um, before I start cutting for the day. What I do is I just take the back of my fingernail and I really carefully drag it on the back of the, or the front of the tooth. So I'm not gonna cut my skin, but it peels it away and I'm hardly even touching it. So it's as sharp as a razor right now. And that's really what you want. That's one of the secrets to being able to cut fast and accurately. It's just a super sharp blade. And then my guides, I like to check them just to make sure the blade can move just a little bit so it can wobble just a hair, but not very much. And then I've got rollers and it's just right on the rollers. So everything looks, looks good. So I'll roll one of these in and we'll get it cut up on the 300 here in a few minutes. I've got the Cedar of Lebanon on the 300 mil and we're inside, so that'll be really nice today since it's kind of gray skies. Smells really nice. These are really pretty straight logs and we'll see what we get here in just a little bit. All right, got that cleaned out. Looks good. Air plugs in. Looks like a theater, right? Got really dark variegated lines, the darker growth rings. Sapwood, kind of a, a three-tone. Got the really dark heartwood, kind of a medium colored inner sapwood, and then a, a whitish outer sapwood. Looks like about the last eight years or so here. So, not a super old tree, but that's really pretty wood and it cut really smoothly. I've never cut it before and I just went right through it like butter. 
I've got a 13 degree blade on right now and that really helped um, just pull out a little bit of extra sawdust. So, all right, gonna do a little bit more cutting. Smells really good. <laughs> really pretty. It's got some nice oil in it or resin. So that, that'll make it turn nicely with a good finish. It's a little bit of fiddle back down past the first knot there. So that's gonna look pretty. First knot there and grain kind of gets a little wavy in there. That's pretty. So, all right, we'll cut these up. See what we get out of them. All right, we're gonna go up on Slabzilla and we're gonna cut up the main trunk of that Cedar Lebanon. Should be really pretty. I'm gonna adjust the blade guides because we just did a blade change and some maintenance on it and it's wanting to cut down. When I got to the end of the last cut, it popped up a little piece. So you just need to adjust that blade up just the front, just the front, just a little bit. So these are a European style blade guide. I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, we're actually doing a big upgrade on that. We'll do another video about that later. So basically with this style, you loosen the top up. There's two plates that squeeze together. It's not very high tech. And I get the blade so I can wiggle it just a little bit. And then I see that the blade's touching. And then I'm just gonna tighten the top guide up. What I'm doing, I'm lining the blade up with the two wheels inside the saw. Once I do that, it cuts straight. And then once I get the top ones tight, we'll loosen the bottom guides up and push them and tighten them. Okay, and then I'm just gonna gently push that up. I can see it's making contact with the blade. I don't wanna squeeze the blade really bad or it'll look like a fireworks show as soon as I start it up. Metal on metal and wood and sawdust, not a good combo. And that can slide back some. Yep, yeah. okay. Give that a try. That's four inches thick, about 10 feet long. So it's about 60 board feet. So 280 pounds, give or take, in the wet form. That's pretty nice. And it's got that great aromatic cedar smell. So you see little marks that happen about every five eighths of an inch roughly. And so I've got a, probably a couple teeth in a row that are out of alignment. So they're not set perfectly. So it just takes a little bit of a, a rip 
every five eighths or so. But that's the pattern that you see through here. All right, I'm gonna unclamp it. Hopefully it doesn't move after we do that and get the log loader and set it down. All right, there we go. This is what's really cool about having a huge boom on our log loader. I'm a good 30 feet away from that log. reach out, pick it up. I can't even feel that I picked up that log. That looks nice. There's, yeah. It didn't really make as much figure through there as I thought it might, but that's still really pretty. Yeah. So this is really nice quarter sun material right here. So I get a really crisp, fine line through it versus a, a wide pattern, like right over here where it's flat sun. So you get a little bit wider grain pattern in it. Um, so really nice quartered material through there. Really pretty. Look at this beautiful cedar of Lebanon. Just stunning wood. This is beautiful cedar of Lebanon. It's got some nice grain patterns that just flow through it. It's got some interesting knot patterns. Just really nice wood. Historically, the Phoenicians used this to build their ships. The Egyptians used this to make paper. And King Solomon used this for the pillars in the temple. We think it's pretty amazing wood. So if you're interested in some of this, come to cookwoods.com and you can get a piece of it. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe. And we'll have a lot more amazing videos coming your way. So stick around.